Thank you for checking my walkthrough video for the Halloween tournament for the qualification round on Pro Division. If uh, I don't ask too much, please do subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up button on this video. And uh, if you do that, let's go into it. Welcome to hole number one. You're gonna start with our extra mile at maximum distance using a Titan and have half of the red ring into the rough on the left side. We're gonna go with full backspin and two right spin. If you have an extra mile level six, you're gonna have uh, like 40% of the red ring into the rough and you're gonna have to push up three yards after doing the adjustment. If you have an extra mile level eight uh, or seven, we're gonna start exactly with the half of the uh, red ring like we are doing. And you're gonna have to push uh, as well uh, seven. Uh, three yards and extra mile level eight we're gonna have to push up one yard if you have an extra mile level nine you don't have to push up anything after doing the adjustment which is max plus 10 p3 we're gonna go with 0 0.7 ball of left curl this one comes in nicely you can add a bit more um, curl in case you have a higher wind like i did uh, in lower winds it's actually um, has a very good chance of dropping actually for a hole in one good luck for hole number two, we're still gonna use our Titan and the Sniper. We're gonna place them at maximum distance of our Sniper level 10. We're gonna apply about one left spin and 0.5 top spin. You're gonna see that the ball guide, it's just short of the pin there. Actually, not a pin, just short of the hole. If you don't have a Sniper level 10, you can still do the same shot using a P4 ball and set the spins first and then find the, find the landing position using your ball guide. We're adjusting here max plus zero P4 using sniper 10 numbers. So in case you have a sniper level seven, uh, you're still gonna use sniper level 10 numbers in your app and go for max plus zero P4. After doing the adjustment, center the ball as best as you can. Try to hit here perfect. This is gonna give you a good chance of dropping this one for a hole in one. Good luck. Welcome to hole number three. You're gonna go with our extra mile and Kingmaker. We're gonna need the Kingmaker for the approach shot. We're gonna start the double plus 10 for extra mile level uh, nine. And we're gonna add two right spin and 4.5 top spin. If you're having an extra mile level eight, you're gonna be starting at plus 11. And extra mile level six and seven, we're gonna be starting at plus 13. If you do have an extra mile level six, you're gonna go with 70% of the red ring into the rough on the right side. The adjustment here is max plus 10 p3 and we're going to perform a normal shot without adding any curl we're looking to get between 340 to 350 yards and uh track down your yardages because you're gonna need it um for the approach shot to determine your slider in this case i think we were going close to 345 yards 346 and for the approach, we will gonna go um, adding spins first. Here I'm going with 1.9 top spin and two, uh, three left spin, and then placing the ball guide through through the hole. Make sure that the ball guide is through the hole. Also, but try to go with uh, around half of the red ring um, outside of the rough there. If you're not having the ball guide through the hole and you're already having the half of the red ring outside of the rough go and add a bit more topspin. That's why in the notes, you're gonna find from 1.9 to 2.1 topspin, depending on how much topspin you need to have the ball guide through the hole. If you don't have the ball guide through the hole, you're gonna go and uh, you're gonna have a slower pace towards the hole and you're gonna go and miss it to the right side. If that happens, like I said, just go with a ball guide through the hole that will gonna prevent uh, your ball to go further to the right. This one goes in perfect speed, getting that funnel, and we're gonna get this easy albatross. Good luck. Welcome to hole number four. This is option one. In case you have an extra mile level nine, go with full top spin and 1.5 left spin. After that, adjust max plus five P5, pulling over the bullseye. Make sure that you pull straight. This is very important. We're trying to uh, bounce on a very narrow um, fairway there and 
if you're not doing as I'm saying you, you to do it, you might clip the rough and be in the bunker or go directly in the bunker. After doing the adjustment, we're going to go with circle drop over power. We're adjusting to a lower point, so we'll need that um, distance back. <clears throat> this one, we're going to bounce nicely on that fairway and then clips the rough and rolls out. We're going to have a nice wedge from here with the end bringer or rapier rule. Checking the slider for it and then adjusting 20% uh, based on our slider. I'm using my rapier rule. He was, I was uh, around 65% slider. So after doing that, placing the full topspin, make sure that the ball guide is through the hole. I was trying to see if uh, there is also a sticky spot, but it's not. There is no glitchy spots at all, so we can actually uh, perform it really well. Place the ball guide at the center of the pin there, adjust your rings and take your shot. This is a nice and easy one if you do have the clubs. If you don't have the clubs, um, the next uh, video will gonna be for option two where we are performing a layup on the left side using our extra mile and approach with the thorn. So this one, hit perfect, get in the hole, get an eagle. If you have, uh, I don't know, um, Better clubs, you can use them, but uh, you need the top spin for extra mile level nine. For the layup option, we are going with our extra mile. We're gonna preset our spins, which is 4.5 top spin and two right spin. You're gonna see that I'm top of plus four yard mark with my red ring touching the rough at the end, and I'm trying to place my ball guide centered on the next fairway. If you're having an extra mile level eight, you're gonna be top of plus five. And extra mile level six and seven will gonna be double plus seven yard mark. Also, extra mile level six will gonna have about 20% of the red ring into the rough when you are gonna be at double plus seven. We just here max plus 10 P3 and then do a normal shot. Try to hit perfect. We're not trying to get too far over here. We want to have some plus numbers for the approach shot so we can actually uh, have something to make our slider. For the approach shot, we're gonna use 3.8 bars of backspin together with half a bar of left spin. And then we're gonna find our ball guide going into the hole. Unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, cause I still dropped it. I didn't place uh, one green square short to the hole. I would definitely recommend you to do that. So go further back. Then that, I have the ball guide just at the hole, favoring the left side of the pin. Make sure that you place it as well uh, on your side. Plus five yard mark, I was playing here at 88% slider, pulling over the bullseye, together with 25% elevation P3. Centering the ball and hit perfect. Because I didn't had one green square short, I'm gonna just, you know, do the final bounce into the hole for an ice eagle. Good luck. Welcome to hole number five. You're gonna start with the navigator and our uh, sniper. I'm gonna place red ring by the rough and also at the same time red ring by the bunker. And then it's easier with the navigator to set the spin. So one left spin and four top spin. Make sure that you have your full four bars of top spin. So go with four and the click and then remove it. After doing that, we're gonna swap to a Kingmaker. We want to swap to a Kingmaker only if the wind is above um, 6.5. Yeah, otherwise, you can still do with the uh, with the nav, but uh, you know, lower level snipers might need actually a better power ball. The adjustment here is one to one. You see, as after we are adjusting, we're not even in plus numbers, so. It doesn't need it in uh, really, but uh, we need to have the wind uh, in that range. We were looking at the trees with a wind angle. Uh, this one was the one that we're gonna go into the hole. We had uh, more crosswinds that uh, we're gonna miss it to the left side. <coughs> and uh, that will gonna require some tweaks. Maybe you'll need to actually adjust a bit less in that wind angle. Good luck. Welcome to hole number six. You're gonna go with a quarterback and a kingmaker. I'm gonna place four top spin and three right spin, and then we're gonna place our quarterback at top of plus 10 yard mark, having the white ring by the rough on the right side. 
after finding the position, we will gonna adjust here one to one and then go one ball of right curl. We're trying to go, uh, if you have a sniper, lower level sniper, I would suggest you use a bit more um, topspin or just find a landing position with a quarterback and swap to an extra mile if you don't have the, you know, the topspin for the quarterback. You can also do that. We are looking to get uh, at least where I'm getting right now. So we can go further up. So 340 yards are actually the minimum amount of your drive distance. For the approach, we're going to perform a top of white ring pin check. And in my case, I'm going to be at double plus 10 yard mark. I'm going to place three right spin and two top spin. I'm going to have the ball guide just through the hole to make sure that we're not going to come short. And then double plus 10, it was mid uh, distance for the slider. And we're going to go with minus 15% P3. We're going to adjust over the bullseye always. Try to pull straight, as straight as you can. And this one can give you a very good chance of dropping the albatross on hole number six. Set, pull over the bullseye. 5.9 for me, it was about 4.6 uh, rings to adjust. I'm centering the ball. Don't having any underpower or overpower. Perfect centered. Hit perfect. And this will gonna have a very good chance of dropping in for an Audi. Good luck. Welcome to hole number seven. You're gonna go with our extra mile level nine and the Kingmaker. We're gonna apply full topspin and they're gonna find our landing position, which is double plus 10 yard mark with the red ring by the rough on the left, on the left side on the bunker. After finding the landing spot, we will gonna adjust max plus 10 P3 and we're gonna perform also circle drop over power. This was the head, the headwind angle. So I think in some of the wind angles, uh, like I had right now, if it was maximum uh, wind, which is 6.5, we might actually go and adjust in overpower. So use that overpower amount uh, in, on your drive, or you can leave it uh, without it because we're still gonna go a bit long. Here we're gonna get 390 yards. We want to be between 384 uh, to 392 yards. Write down the drive distance because you're going to need for the approach. We're going to go with just one right spin and having the ball guide going just at the pin. For 390 yards, we will, we're will going to be at 61% slider and we're going to adjust 20% P3. Try to center that uh, wind arrow to go straight north. We're going to pull over the bullseye always so please do the same thing uh here it was 3.5 rings to adjust for for me center the ball as best as you can and try to hit perfect if you do all this you're gonna find yourself with an eagle on hole number seven good luck Welcome to hole number eight. You're gonna go with our sniper. And before adding any spins, we're gonna be with a, a red ring by the rough and the ball guide through the hole. After doing that, <clears throat> we're gonna go with 0.5 right spin without any top or back spin. We're gonna adjust here max plus uh, five uh, P3 using sniper 10. So if you have sniper level eight and seven or nine, you're gonna use sniper 10 numbers in your app. Pull over the bullseye. We're gonna be wind angle tweaks for sure on this one. Um, take a picture where we were, and then, in case you are missing left and right, compare the uh, picture from where we pulled, and uh, find out which three one is the center and which one requires click off left or right curl. For this wind angle, it goes into the hole for a nice hole in one. Good luck. Welcome to hole number nine. You're gonna go with an extra mile level. 8 plus because we'll need uh, the 6 top spin at max P3 uh, max stretch. We're gonna be with the red ring by the rough uh, on the right side. We're gonna apply 6 top spin and 2 right spin. We're gonna adjust here max plus 10 P3. 
And if you have an extra mile level 8, you'll have to push up one yard as well. Since we have an extra mile level 9, we don't have to do that. So make sure that after adjustment, uh, push up one yard with extra mile level 8. And then go full overpower. I'm going to be a slower needle, still going to shake a bit. And you need to hit this one. Perfect. Uh, slight grades, I don't think they're going to be uh, okay. A slight grade right might be uh, better than a slight grade left. You're still going to get up over here. Take notes for your drive distance because you're going to need that for your slider on the approach. For the approach, we will going to go with the two point uh, two backspin. Actually, no, it's 2.1 backspin. And just move it from the no moving target to be with the ball guide at uh, toward the hole, about one green square short. And for the 394 yards, we will gonna be at 47% uh, <clears throat> slider. So 47% uh, slider with 10% um, P3. This was one to one. For each yard longer or less, you're gonna add or deduct 2.5% uh, slider from your table from your, you know, slider. Adjust, pull straight, and this wall I'm gonna have a good chance to drop in for an albatross. Good luck.